everyone. I am here with Evelyn. She is the Emerson by Noe Art Dolls. Her head was sculpt sculpted by Izzy Zhao and her body was sculpted by uh, Noemi. Oh, I just am enjoying this baby girl so much. Um, I can't get enough of her right now. I have to do another video. She's just so, she's so dreamy. She's such a dream baby. Um, I've just been in love with this baby ever since I saw her in clay form, so I still have to pinch myself that she's home with me. Anyway, I wanted to chat about a topic. Um, it doesn't have anything to do with Evelyn, but um, I'm going to change her into this beautiful, beautiful pink velour sleeper, even though it's, yeah, just because the weather is still a little bit chilly, even though it's spring, it's, it's still a little bit chilly. I just thought this looks, this would be so snuggly and perfect because as I'm filming this, it's a Saturday. Um, you, by the time you guys watch this, it'll, it may be a different day of the week, but, um, uh, anyway, and my topic and I, and I remembered seeing, um, and I can't remember if I talked about this topic recently, but I remembered seeing, um, I think it was Kelly girls, uh, Kelly girl had posted this video or it, it might've been one of my other friends in the community, but the topic around kind of selling a doll to buy another. Um, and, uh, and I don't think I've actually seen Kelly's video about like what lengths would you go to to bring a baby home just cause I'm so that one's on my watch list. But, um, but yeah, I, I it was something I, you know, kind of been have thought about cause I have definitely seen, you know, just with the price of these dolls, it can be really, really hard when you have a dream baby in your possession and you want to acquire a new baby into your collection to figure out how to make that happen financially speaking. And so, so there are situations and times when, you know, you, um, you, you might sell a baby in order to bring home another. And, and so I, thankfully I actually haven't had to do this before. Um, I I've kind of done it more after the fact, <laughs> let's just say. So for example, let's say I've paid a deposit, like with Emerson, for example, I paid a deposit on her, um, back in like, I think it was January. It was earlier this year when I finally decided to do the custom order. Maybe it was December. I can't remember exactly, but I had paid a deposit and then, um, and then like I, you know, and then I knew that there would be the final half of the deposit due when she was ready. So, um, so I kind of knew that there would be this amount I would need to pay hanging over my head. And that also factored into my decision to let go of Kylie, my Natalie by Izzy Zhao, even though Kylie is absolutely scrumptious and an amazing baby. But I just felt like, given that I had this additional payment coming up, you know, I didn't want to have to dip into my savings again. So I felt like the responsible thing to do was to let Kylie go and bring home Evelyn. Now, something happened to a friend of mine in the community recently where she had um, sold a baby in her, from her collection that she really loved. She'd actually sold a couple babies from her collection to try to bring this one baby home. And, um, and she thought the seller was ready to let go of that baby. This is all, these are all secondhand transactions. She thought, thought the seller was ready to let go of that baby, except, um, the person ended up changing her mind, which I know happens, you know, in the doll community. Cause these babies we're, we're, we, we become very attached to them. Like, and, um, it's, and so sometimes, and, and so you see this happen a lot in the doll fan, like silicones for sale forum, where people will post a, a doll for sale. And then, um, and then sometimes they'll say, d then all of a sudden you'll see the post subject line change to delete. And then there's a note at the top saying, I'm so sorry, I can't do it. So this happens, this happens frequently because, um, you may think, uh, that you're ready to let a baby go. And then, but then when push comes to shove, it's like, Oh, you know, you, you just, you, you can't imagine letting that baby go. So it's, um, and that can be a really, really hard, it can be such a hard thing. You know, I think it's such an emotional hobby, both buying and selling. Um, and so, yeah, I guess like, you know, I, I think that, you know, and, and it's, and it's so hard because like, so, so basically what happened was my friend, um, sold, you know, a couple babies from her collection to try to bring this one baby home. The seller like changed her mind. And then, you know, she ended up, unfortunately she had, she had already let go of the other two babies from her collection who I know she would not have sold 
if she wasn't trying to bring this other baby home. So then she ended up in a situation where she had the cash, but no babies, uh, you know, didn't, not no babies at all, but no, not the like babies that, the bit, not the baby that she wanted, like a kind of, so, oh my gosh, look at this girl, you guys. Oh my gosh. She's so wonderful. <laughs> Hi, sweet girl. Oh my goodness. Hi. Oh my gosh. I just, I'm over the moon. I love, love, love her. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. She's like, ma this baby alone is like, this baby's like making me fall back in love with the hobby again. I love holding her. She feels, she feels very, very nice to hold. Like, um, oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. She's so precious. Oh, she's just so, she just has this like innocent, pure look to her too. I just like, look how cozy she looks. This is so adorable. And shoot, I know I'm going to get questions on what brand, what company made this sleeper. So let me find it and tell you guys. It's made by I Do. I-D-O is the name of the brand. So, and I think I, I'm pretty sure I bought this from Children's Salon. So, but it was a while ago. So I don't know if they'll still have it, but oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you make me want to go shopping for you. Yes, I want to buy you all sorts of stuff. <laughs> She's so cute. She's so, so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, like I just feel this feeling of contentment looking at her. So, um, so I try to put myself in that situation of like, you know, selling a doll that means a lot to you. Like, like I had thought of letting go of Maggie in order to bring her home. I was going to do it. I was, I offered Noemi if she wanted to do a trade and, and I'm glad she didn't <laughs> take me up on it because I love Maggie and I'm glad I didn't sell her. Um, but I, but it would have been like heartbreaking if I had somehow tried to sell Maggie or sold Maggie in order to bring, um, Emerson home. And then this somehow fell through. This was not as risky of a transaction because I was buying directly from the artist versus secondhand. And I don't think, I think most of the artists are not going to like change their mind about wanting to keep the baby after all, but it's so heartbreaking for my friend and it just felt so bad for her. And, um, it's just, it's just so tough, you know, when you let go of a doll that you just love. So, and I guess like my, um, encouragement would be if she's watching this, and I don't want to like say who it is or anything like that, even though some of you guys may know, um, you know, but my, I guess my encouragement would just be like with all the new babies coming out, I know there will be that dream baby will be right around the corner and it may not be today, but it may be, it will be in the future. And I feel very, very confident in saying that saying that because sometimes things p don't work out and sometimes that same baby does become available again in the future. So it just might be the timing. So, um, but yeah, I don't know if any of you guys have experienced that, like where you had your heart set on a sale and then it fell through. Like I, um, yeah, I, I, I can imagine it's just the, just the heartbreak and the roller coaster ride because you just, you fall in love with a baby, you start to nest for that baby. Like maybe you even started to buy that, that doll some clothes and things like that. And you're just so excited to bring them home and then to have that fall through. Like that's so, that's so tough. Um, it really, really is. I just can't believe how cute she is. <laughs> Let me show you the back. Oh, she's such a chunk. <laughs> that would be like her sleeping on her side. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so cute. Like, and I don't really take my babies out, but I kind of like, I kind of want to take her places. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't take my babies out because I have two kids and taking the two of them out is already such a handful, much less juggling a doll with me as well. But, but man, oh man, this little one is just like, she's so special. She's just really precious. And I love like her little, I love her little hands, like, and how chubby they are. Like they're so chunky. And she just feels so soft and, oh, she's just so, she's precious. <laughs> um, anyway, I think that's all I wanted to say about this topic. I ha I don't have personal experience with it, but, um, and there are some babies in my collection that I just would like, obviously like just never let go of, right? Like my baby Lynn and 
you know, there, there are a few that I'm just like, yeah, like, but baby Lynn for sure. And then of course my, um, my aunt Emery May and Melina sculpts, I still debate whether like I'll always keep, um, doubles of each of those sculpts. Like maybe one day in the future, I would sell one of one of them, one each of one of each of them, um, and just have one of each of those dolls in my collection. Um, cause I don't even know if Audrey's going to be really that into dolls, but she did talk today about, um, uh, baby Olivia and how much she loves her. And so I, I should do another video with Olivia soon. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day and we'll be in touch soon. I will see you guys on the next video and Evelyn's going to say bye.